Inverse distance gridding assigns node values by computing a distance weighted average of neighboring control points. This algorithm is based on Newton's gravity equation. Specifically, the effect of a neighboring control point varies inversely by its distance squared. Although squaring the distance is a good starting point, Rockworks allows the user to change this exponent. This animation shows how increasing the weighting exponent causes distant control points to exert less influence when estimating the grid node value. Conversely, lowering the weighting exponent causes distant control points to exert a greater influence on the estimation. The number of neighboring points used for the estimation also has an effect upon the interpolation as shown within this animation. The method used to locate neighboring points can be defined by sectors to minimize the effects of large nearby clusters of control points. As with some of the other gridding algorithms, inverse distance is sensitive to the grid dimensions. As the cells become smaller, bullseyes begin to appear around the control points. The solution is to set the node spacing equal to no less than one-fourth of the average minimum distance between the control points. Advantages? When used properly, inverse distance gridding produces a smooth and continuous grid. It does not exaggerate extrapolations beyond neighboring control points. The range of grid values will be smaller than the data point range, meaning that the highest grid value will be less than the maximum data point and the lowest grid value will be greater than the minimum data point. The disadvantages are that inverse distance gridding can produce a bullseye effect with some data sets, especially when the cells are set too small.